Hi, third grade. Today we are going to do unit six, week one, day two. Let's get started with our drill sounds warm up. Repeat after me. A, apple, a. A, safe, a. A, acorn, a. A, wash, a. A, squash, a. E, ed, a. E, peat, e. E, me, e. I itch I. I pine I. I high I. O octopus ah. O home o. O no o. You up a. Uh. You mule you. You rule oo. You pupil you. And you flew oo. And lastly, why cry I and why baby E. Nice work. Okay, next up, we're going to watch our new concept for the day. Here we go. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Level 3 Foundations Unit 6. I'm Mrs. Recklin, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Today, we're going to continue our work with the open syllable. We'll review that why often acts as a vowel in an open syllable. You'll need your student notebook for today's lesson, or your teacher may have sent home some pages of your student notebook. So if you need to pause the video to get your student notebook or other materials plus a pencil, go ahead and do that, and I'll be here when you get back. All right, let's get started. I have a word on the board. Let's read it together. My. Why can be a vowel in an open syllable. And notice the vowel is on the peach card to represent that it's acting as a vowel in this word. And Y is going to say I in a one syllable, open syllable word, such as in the word my. Let's look at some other examples. And let's read this word together, shy. Did you hear the I sound? for why in that word, shy. When someone is shy, they might be afraid to speak up or do things. They might be nervous about it. Have you ever felt shy before? I have. Sometimes when I'm in a group of a lot of people I don't know, I feel a little bit shy. Let's do another word and read this word, by. Again, do you hear the I sound at the end of that word? This is not the bye bye, see you later. This is the house is by the lake, that meaning of the bye. And then finally, let's do one more. And let's read that word together, everyone. Sly. So if someone or something is sly, they're tricky or crafty and in not very honest way, usually. If you've ever heard the saying, sly like a fox, that's what it means, tricky and crafty. I'm going to leave this word up here to remind us that Y can be a vowel in an open syllable, and in a one-syllable word, it says I. Now, we can find open syllables in the final syllable of a word. Let me show you. Here's my syllable frames. I'm going to put up two frames for a two-syllable word. First syllable is and the second syllable. Let's read this word together. Men, you, menu. So the U is in the final syllable and it's an open syllable and it has the long vowel sound, U. Let me show you another example of that. All right, let's do this word together. Bingo, bingo. Again, the O is in the final syllable, and it's an open syllable, and it's saying the long vowel sound, O. Have you ever played bingo before? It's a fun game. I like it. Now, when you hear E at the end of a multisyllabic word, it's going to be spelled with a Y most of the time. Let me show you an example. I'm going to scoop this word into syllables, and let's read it together. Candy, K, 
can be. Do you hear the E sound with the letter Y at the end of that word in the final syllable? Can D. So in a two syllable word, Y is going to say E as in the word candy. So we'll use a Y to spell that sound and not an E most of the time. Let's try another word. Let's read this one together. Co Z, cozy. Do you hear the E sound that Y is making in that final syllable? So in this word cozy, my first syllable, is it open or closed? I bet you said open, isn't it? And it has the long vowel sound. In my last syllable, this is also an open syllable. And what is the Y saying in this syllable? It's saying the long E sound, cozy. Let's look at another word. All right, let's read this word. Pony, pony. Again, Y is saying E in that final syllable. Another thing to know is that Y likes to have a letter with it in that final syllable. So when you're looking at words with open syllables with Y at the end, you'll notice in that syllable, most of the time it's going to have a letter with it. So when you hear a short vowel in the first syllable, often we have to double the consonant in order to close in that first syllable and also to give the Y a letter with it in the final syllable. Let's look at this part. Let's read this word together, silly. Now in the word silly, we have a short vowel in the first syllable. So it has to be closed in, in order to make it short. And then Y likes to have a letter with it in the final syllable. So even though we don't hear both L's when we pronounce the word silly, we don't really hear it clearly. We actually consider this like a bonus letter. It's just there to close in that first syllable and also have one letter to go with the Y in the final syllable. And if I didn't have that L there, the word would be pronounced silly, and that's not the word we want. We want silly. Let me show you one last example like that. And let's read the word penny, penny. So again, we have that double consonant so that we close in the first syllable, and Y has a consonant with it. And we consider that like a bonus letter. We don't really clearly hear both ends when we say penny. Nice job. Let's review. Y can be a vowel in an open syllable. In a one syllable word, it's going to say I. We can find open syllables in the final syllable of words. When in a two syllable word or multi syllabic word, Y is going to say E. When we have a short vowel in the first syllable, often there'll be a double consonant, one to close in the first syllable to make the vowel short, and one to be with the Y in the final syllable. Nice job. Now let's review our vowel sounds and we'll add in our open syllable sounds. So we'll be adding in our open syllable keywords. You can look at my poster if you'd like to while we drill the sounds. Be my echo and repeat after me. A apple a. A safe a. A acorn a. E ed e. E peat e. E mean e. I itch e. I pine i. I hi i. Good job. O octopus a. O home o. O no o. Great. U up a. 
you, mule you, you rule who, you pupil you, you flew who. Why cry I, why baby he? We have one more to add to A. A wash ah, A squash ah. And let's do schwa. Schwa wagon ah. Great job on that. Before we close, let's look at our student notebook. On page eight of your student notebook in the sound section, I'd like you to color in the keyword pictures for the open syllable keywords. And then on page 24, in the syllable section, I'd like you to add in on the very first line some examples of open syllables. You can write the word no and mark it up. And for a two-syllable word, you can write the word menu and mark it up. Thank you very much for joining me today to review the open syllable, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Okay, before we learn a new homophone pair and we play a game of guess which one, let's review some of our old homophones. Just say them after me. Ready? Right. Right. No. No. Which. Which. Whoops, I skipped one, sorry. Sun, child who grows up. Sun, squint. Mm -hmm. Some, it's an amount. Some, answer for addition. Band, no longer allowed. Band, musical group. Guest, welcome on in. Guessed, thought about it, made a prediction. Missed, you got it wrong, incorrect. Missed, water droplets, tiny water droplets. Plain, like a plain shirt, pretty simple. Plain, airplane, good. Mail, like the Envelope, seal it, put it in. Mail, a man or a boy. Mind, which he used to think. Mind, mining for gold or coal or diamonds. Find, you look for something that's lost and you find it. Find, you have to pay for a punishment. Weather, pop up the umbrella. Stick it over. Weather. Don't know whether to do this or that. Father. Hold the baby, right? Farther. Way over there. A distance. Okay. And our next pair that we're going to learn is high. I think you all know this one. That's another way to say what in English? Hello, right. So actually, if you can go ahead into your student notebook, let's add the new word, our sound alike word, hi, is on page 96. Okay, so if you go to page 96 right now, I will hold up hello. That's all you are writing there for your definition. That is a quick one. Okay. And then I think our signal for that one could just be to wave. Okay, that's an easy signal. And then this high, H-I-G-H, high, means... Let's write that, look on page 97 and let's, I'll hold this up and you can write it down. A top level, I better write meter, a top level or 
a great distance to the top. If you need to pause the video, pause it while you write this definition on page 97. Okay, I think the signal for this high could be like make a mountain and reach up high. Okay, the peak is very high up there. And this high would be HI. All right, so you should know the dis difference there. All right, if you have a piece of paper at home, we are going to play a game of guess which one real quick. And you will hear a sentence. And whatever homophone you hear in the sentence, that's the word you're going to write on the line. Okay, so. I predict bad weather. Which weather did you hear me say? Pause the video and write it down. All right, take a look at the screen. Did you write this? I predict bad weather. That's the umbrella. Stick it up. Right. Next sentence. The lady went to the high school. Ooh, top level. High school. Hmm. Which high did you hear in that sentence? Write it down. Yes, this is the top level. One of the top levels of education is high school when you get older. Very good. H-I-G-H. All right, the next one. The baby likes to say hi. Which one? Write it down. Okay, hopefully you wrote down H-I, yes. That is a high pole. Which one? Hopefully you wrote H-I-G-H. It was a very tall Pole. And the last one. If you are late, you will be fined. Which find do you hear? Pause the video and write it. All right. F-I-N-E-D. You had to pay up because you were late. Good job. Okay. The very last thing we did in class was we practiced lowercase cursive Z and we wrote that a few times. Okay, so if you need to pause the video to remind yourself what lowercase cursive Z looks like, we were introduced to it yesterday at the end of the lesson. If you need to rewatch that video, you can go back to yesterday to hear it. And on the back, we did lowercase x. So same thing. You can pause the video and look at your example of lowercase x and then try it at home. All right, third grade, that's all I have for you today. And I will see you back next time. Take care.